Hey gang, Nicole here. Cue points have been around since the first version of Storyline, but did you know that Storyline 2 comes with the awesome new ability to trigger a cue point? That means you now have the ability to trigger your entrance and exit animations. Here's a preview of what I mean. Pretty cool, right? So let me show you the steps that I followed to accomplish this interactivity. I started by inserting the graphic that I want to have enter and exit the slide. It doesn't have to be a graphic, it could also be a shape, a text box, a character, or many other objects, but in this example, I used a laptop graphic. Then I headed over to the Animations tab and added an entrance and exit animation to the graphic. I also adjusted the duration of the animation. So in my example, both the entrance and the exit animation on the laptop graphic last one second. The next thing I did was insert two buttons on the slide. One button will trigger the entrance animation and the other button will trigger the exit animation. I also quickly just placed and styled my buttons. Now the trick in setting this up is all in adjusting the timing of the three objects. That is the two buttons and the graphic on the timeline. So the entrance button appears first for one second and then right after it disappears, the laptop graphic appears. Then the exit button appears for one second, but quickly disappears one second before the end of the laptop graphic, during which that would be the time when the laptop graphic will be doing the exit animation. The next thing I'm going to do is add in my two cue points. So to add in a new cue point, you left click on the timeline and select create cue point at playhead. Now I place the first cue point on the timeline so it appears right before the entrance button disappears. Then I inserted a second cue point and I placed it on the timeline right before the exit button disappears from the timeline. I'm almost done. The last thing I need to do is set up the triggers. So as you can see in the triggers panel, there are automatically two triggers that are associated with the cue points, which pause the timeline when the cue points are hit. So those are perfect and we'll leave those as they are, but I do need to set up two more triggers. The first one will go on the entrance button and it will resume the timeline when the entrance button is clicked. And the second trigger I create will go on the exit button and that one will resume the timeline when the exit button is clicked. And now let's preview the final product. Voila, everything is working great. So that's how easy it is to use cue points to trigger animations with Storyline 2. Thanks for watching.